Oh, Wing Chun Kung Fu. Actually, Wing Chun Kung Fu. Wing Chun means forever young, forever flowering, forever uh, springtime. Um, it's an art of martial arts that will teach you how to relax, how to stay young and healthy. And it is a self-defense art, so the Kung Fu will always be there in case you ever need it. I believe that through Kung Fu, you cultivate yourself on a daily basis. Okay, you will learn how to deal with life problems better. Because when you relax, you could make better decisions and enjoy life better and have more energy, more internal power. Uh, your life will be more enjoyable with Kung Fu. And for me, the beauty of Kung Fu now at this stage of my life is to pass on this beauty, this luck to other people, young and old, male and female, children and old men <laughs> and old ladies. <laughs> That's a Wing Chun for me. Wing Chun is not for ego. It's not for making money, uh, say, as a fighty, fighter, beating up people or getting beat up yourself, but to uh, deal with life in general in a more um, intelligent way. Develop friends instead of enemies, okay? Uh, tell people how to control themselves so they avoid trouble. It's, no, it's not about fighting per se, but maybe avoiding fights through your Kung Fu and enjoying the process, enjoying the journey. Kung Fu is a lot of fun. The training when you're a student is a lot of fun. Meeting people, having Kung Fu brothers is, is a rich life, okay? So teaching Kung Fu is the greatest blessing I think I have and I still have, okay? So for me to be a Wing Chun Kung Fu, I see it as a, um, as a way of life, as a way to uh, communicate with uh, society. Um, as I might see for Naomi, Mo Yi Hap, it's like a person that will use his Kung Fu to help the world, to help the community, to help society. So that's Kung Fu for me. That's Wing Chun and Forever Young. <laughs> Well, I will say that if you, you know, before I started Kung Fu, I, I went to school to be a writer and I learned three principles and they talk about unity, continuity, and organization. So if you work hard at anything and you keep it in one unit, you keep it simple and you organize, you will make it grow. And the growth of Wing Chun is infinite. You could always be better in Kung Fu, in life, with the help of the, of the Kung Fu. So you could say Wing Chun is a system, of course, it's a system of fighting, self-defense, but it's also uh, a system of growing, okay? And winning many things in life with the Kung Fu, with the Kung Fu experience, okay? As a Kung Fu teacher, as a Kung Fu practitioner, you will have more friends, you have more brothers, okay, younger and older. You will have a bigger family. Uh, if you remember your high school, with a few exceptions, um, classmates, where are they? Your cousin you grew up with, where are they? You know, some of us are lucky to have some cousins that we see here and there, even Kung Fu brothers and sisters usually have their own private family. But the Kung Fu family is pretty strong. It's kind of everlasting. I'm really fortunate. I have Kung Fu seniors, uh, brothers, younger brothers, nephews, <laughs> okay, uncles all over the world. And practically anywhere I go in, in the universe, in the, in the planet Earth, I have Kung Fu family, okay? And I go and see them, they come and see me, and through the Kung Fu, I call it the Kung Fu DNA, we are able to exchange and exchange knowledge and exchange benefits 
in the business world too. You could trust your comfort brother if it's an architect to build your house, if he sells cars to sell you good cars, if he's a plumber to fix your house with the right, right tools at the right price and not cheat on you. Because usually it's really strong, the relationship between Kung Fu brothers and sisters. So uh, I must say that I know Kung Fu because I'm a very lucky guy. I really had a fortunate, a good fortune of meeting a great Kung Fu master, okay? And told me a lot of things, not only about Kung Fu, about Wing Chun, about fighting, but how to use my Kung Fu to navigate through life, okay? And the, 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 the energy that you get from training the Kung Fu, the relaxation, okay? That's uh, the balance, you know? The direction, you know? The facing, okay? So you use your Kung Fu life. You use your Kung Fu for your Kung Fu life, for your life, okay? We have a principle in Wing Chun that we talk about the center line, okay? You stay center, okay? You occupy, you protect your vital organs, your eyes, your nose, your mouth, your throat, solar plexus, stomach, groin area, knees. That's the center of your life. So if you don't learn how to occupy those to protect them, um, you easily could get hurt. But you use a principle in life. When you're driving in the middle of the road, if you go too far to the right, you're going to crash. If you go too far to the left, you will crash. So in life, you think, oh, too much alcohol. Oh, no good. Too much drugs, no good. Once you go too far away from the center, you're going to be in trouble. Very difficult to come back. Okay, so I use that approach. My students, Wing Chun guys, use that principle to guide them through, through a daily, daily situation. Practically every single concept that we have in Kung Fu training, we, are, we can apply it for sure to, a, to, a, to our daily life, okay? Make things smarter in a sense, easier. Always, that's our, our guide, the structure that guide me through my daily routine, if you would, you know? Whatever I, I think I do, I use my Kung Fu. When I walk, I use my Kung Fu. When I breathe, I use my Kung Fu. When I think, I use my Kung Fu. When I communicate with people, I use my Kung Fu. My personal relationship, I use my Kung Fu. How I treat others, I use my Kung Fu. And it makes life easier. I mean, it's really a blessing, okay? I'm not saying you don't run into difficult situation like everybody else, but the Kung Fu tools, the Wing Chun, helps you resolve the problems in an easier, quicker, and smarter way. That's the blessing of having Wing Chun Kung Fu in my life. <laughs>
Don't be a fool. Don't be a hero. Don't die unless you have to. Survival is the most important thing. Okay? <laughs> that was a story through uh, one of my um, Kung Fu brother. Actually, Sifu's son has a student, and he told me he was running down um, Central Park, and all of a sudden, um, a, a raccoon or something jumped in front of him. He went like this. <laughs> yeah, he protected his center line because that's the animal needs to come to attack you. <laughs> and the first thing you need to do is protect your center line. So that's like uh, lesson number one about learning Kung Fu. Always cover your weak parts, your center. Yeah.